Hello everybody, my name is Edson and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about, it's going to be a one-off video, or well, kind of a one-off, it's going to be two parts. I'm going to be talking about the games I'm looking forward to in 2017, but today, this video, I'm going to be talking about my favourite games of 2016. I was going to try and make sort of like a top five, but there's really only four that I can give titles to as, as my favourite games of 2016, and one of them sort of like a, I haven't played it enough, but I know it is sort of thing. Um, and then there's just a load of games that I haven't had time to play that I know are going to be good that I'm pretty certain I'm going to uh, enjoy, which I'll sort of give honourable mentions to at the end. To kick things off, I'm going to talk about Battlefield 1. Now, Battlefield 1 was one of the games that came out relatively close to the end of 2016. Um, it's one of the games that, or the game out of the, out of the four that I've chosen that I've put the least amount of time into. I sort of only put mo a bit of time in November into the game, but I, it sort of re-energized my sort of like passion for the franchise a little bit. Sort of fell out of love. Uh, Battlefield 3 was the last one that I really sort of was playing a little bit. <laughs> Bad Company 2, I think, was the, the, the pinnacle. Uh, I really enjoyed their sort of like their spin-off on Battlefield 1943. That was a lot of fun. That is one of the ones I've put the most time into in recent years. Battlefield 3 was good. Played a bit of it, quite a bit of it. Battlefield 4 was one of the worst in, in history, I think. Uh, Battlefield Hardline just blew everything out of the water and was one of the worst games of all time. Uh, Battlefield 1, they came back and they went to World War 1. Oh, I, I, th I thought this was it. This was, the, this was the last chance they had to get me back into the series. And they've done it. They've managed to do it. Uh, all of the game modes don't feel sort of as, as sluggish and slow as before like they still feel very fast paced even though they're some of the biggest maps i think the biggest maps that you've they've ever had in any battlefield game like all props to them for that as little as i've played i've really enjoyed it and i know as things settle down into january i'm going to be i'm going to be kicking a lot more time into that game it's definitely one of my favorites uh that was released in 2016 i would say it's probably around it's it's fourth slash joint third which brings me nicely onto my third choice now, my third choice is going to be a little bit of a controversial one. This one is Firewatch. Now, Firewatch is a first-person mystery adventure game developed by Campo Santo, which is a small game development company based in San Francisco, California. Now, they created this game, Firewatch, which I honestly, it was, it's one that I've been following ever since I, it was initially announced. I think it was a maybe an E3 or something. I can't really remember, but I was, I was following it for a year. They were slowly releasing footage. And it released early of 2016, and it's one of my favourite games. It it lived up to the expectations for me. A lot of people don't like the ending, and I know a lot of people that watch this that have played it will comment in the comments saying they don't like the ending, and that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, to me, I liked the ending. And I thought it was good, and I thought it 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 was sufficed. Like it it was it was good. I enjoyed it. <laughs> For me, a lot of people, especially when they talk about Firewatch or they talk about games or, 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 or certain things like that, the ride to the end is normally the thing that they enjoy most. And, and when they get to the end, normally the way it ends or how it ends or, or, or how it's wrapped up is never really sufficient enough because it's sort of overshadowed by the fact that the game's over or the thing is over now. Whereas... For myself with Firewatch, and I know a lot of people will, will say, well, yeah, that is the case, but the, the ending really wasn't that good. For me, it was. And as much as I enjoyed the ride, as much as I thought, oh, God, it's over now. Like, this is it. Like, they've, they've told me all of the story. I've completed this game. I still really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. For an indie game, one of my best single-player indie games I've ever played. Visually, it's, it's just outstanding. The sound and the music is one of the best I've ever heard in any game. The voice acting is superb. The writing is amazing. And if you add all of that together, I, I just don't see how... Well, I do see, because everyone remembers the ending of games, of single-player games. You always remember the endings, and everywhere, everything it seems to get judged by the ending. And all of those things that I've just listed, the, the, the voice acting, the... The visuals, the gameplay, the music, just everything about it seems to get forgotten because the ending wasn't, as m for most people, it wasn't lived up to what it was meant to be. Which kind of sucks because really it was a superb piece of art. It was one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my controversial one. I really did enjoy uh, enjoy Firewatch. 
and I would throw it up there as number three in my favourite games of 2016. I've gone back and played it about three or four times since. I just love it. It's such a good game. Now, number two is one that I have sunk a lot of time into when it initially came out. I had a sort of break on it because it was one that I actually was recording on my YouTube channel. And I sort of fell out of love uh, from recording it, but not playing it. It's Stardew Valley. Now, this is a game that was released early 2016, and it was updated with a 1.1 patch, which added loads of new things late 2016. And they're even bringing out stuff like multiplayer in early 2017. And there's just so much content being developed. And one of the big reasons why I was initially drawn to this game was the fact that it's 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 a farming game, something I love. It's an in, It's an indie game for one, and it's developed by one person one person makes this game just one person uh, and this guy has sold millions and millions of copies it's one of the best games of 2016 and for most people it is the best game of 2016 it's up there for me as number 200 percent um it's just it's just amazing <laughs> there's everything about it it's the the game has has got so much and it's, it's still being developed like there's still stuff being thrown into this game it's not the finished product it's not that's it I'm never going to update it. He's constantly updating this game. There'll come a point where we'll stop and he'll work on some other stuff and the updates will sort of like slow down. But I think that's when he hands it over to the modding community and they carry the game on. This game is just... If if you like any sort of uh, micromanagement slash... It's, it's, it's sort of like SimCity mixed with sort of elements of like dev tycoon games and and sort of like weird games like like it's it's just a whole mix of loads of different things and it's just the, the it speaks to so many people uh especially like a, a lot of people say it's like the harvest moon sort of like follow-up game as such um and he did draw a lot of inspiration from that but for me it's 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 its own thing and i i just can't get over how addicting this game is and i haven't put a lot of time into it in recent months and it's something that I've, I've, I've constantly been planning to go back to but never really found the time but it's one that once i do go back to i'm just going to sink so much time into it it's going to be tens dozens hundreds of hours back into this game especially with all of the new content and especially with the fact that i didn't explore everything there was to start off with there's a lot a lot more to this game than i've personally played and there's a lot more to this game than most people have played. And it's just such an addictive game. And it's something that, especially now they've introduced the, the four different places that you can start at. There's so many different, there's so much more replay value to it already. It's just insane. And I can't wait to see where this game goes in the future with the guy that's developing it. And eventually, as I probably am guessing, and I think a lot of people are guessing, he'll eventually had, hand it over to the modding community and see where they go with it. And last but not least, my favourite game of 2016. I think a lot of people will be able to guess this, especially if you follow me on streams. Like, if, if you follow my streams, you follow me on Twitter. Uh, and just generally, I've spoken about it on YouTube as well. Overwatch. Something that I've actually sunk pretty much by the time this video goes out. It's around 200 hours into the game, just in 2016. Um, now, obviously, the beach of this game and all of, I think, Alpha, Beta, whenever it was, like, in development, they had all the beats and all of that. Uh, it was a game that has been out, if you count all of that, before 2016, I believe. But it was its official release was 2016. Um, and it's one that, it's its a game, it's, it's by Blizzard. And it's one that I personally just absolutely love. <laughs> it's one thing I, I've always found interesting, especially with League of Legends and Dota and games like that, is that whole different, that whole aspect of the game of these are the 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 players you can play with you've got different classes three four maybe five different classes and these are all the players that you can play with you as a team select the best option for the the opponents you're playing against the map you're on whether you're attacking or defending um and all of those games that really interest me and and the the sort of the the whole knowledge of the game is, is really interesting but it's something that i've never really managed to get into because you sort of you need to play those games from the start to really benefit from uh, sort of learning the meta and, 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 and learning all of those things. Uh, with Overwatch, I got into the game a month, maybe two months after it came out. So it's relatively new. It was before the eSports scene had even started. Um, and yeah, it's it's essentially a first-person 
I, I would say it's a first person League of Legends in the sense of it's got everything that that's that's good about a, a, a MOBA. Um and it's it's got everything that's good about a first person shooter. And it's got everything that's good about a Blizzard game. <laughs> like it's it's got everything and it's constantly being updated. The 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 whole lore behind the the, the heroes and, and the backstory of everything. Uh, teamed with the constant update they've implemented already two new heroes into the game and the game's not even been out for a year they've got more characters being in, uh, implemented the story's developing the laws developing and everything's being constantly tweaked everything's like you uh, on on the player test region the ptr so like any new characters any new heroes any new changes that come you get to test them out before they put them into the game you get to really put your input into the game on whether what they're doing or what they're changing is is right for the game or not and sometimes they don't go through with it sometimes they tweak it slightly sometimes it's perfect and they do add those things or change those things and it's a game that's so addicting like i i've there's not many i don't think there's any game since modern warfare 2 call of duty modern warfare 2 on xbox 360 that i actually could hop onto in the evening and have i would say Back in Call of Duty days, there was about six to seven of us that were always playing at the same time. Overwatch now, I've got a solid group of about 20 people that play that game that I probably play with. Each and every one of them I play with at least once a week. It's insane. It's so popular. I know so many people that are playing it. I'm addicted to it. It's such a, it's such an awesome game. And I can't wait to see where it goes to in 2017. I, I guarantee at the end of 2017 I'll be echoing the same words and I'll want to pick it for my favourite game of 2017 even though it wasn't released in 2017 um, but seeing as it's, it was released in 2016 I have to pick this because I've already sunk 200 hours into this game. It is insane. So without a doubt Overwatch, my favourite game of 2016. I do want to also note a few games that I do own and also some games that I'm, I'm going to be buying that were released in 2016 that I still haven't managed to sink any time into. Uh, Far Cry Primal, Planet Coaster, Hue, Steep, Sidmere Civilization, uh, Inside, As uh, Astronair, I think it is, As Astron Astronair, I can't remember, <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it, but all of those games, every single one of them, um, are all games that, uh, that I either own, or I'm going to be owning soon, and I still need to sink a lot of time into, along with games like Battlefield 1 and Stardew Valley, that are some of my favourites that I still haven't sunk as much time into as I want to, there's too many games. There really is so way too many, way too many games. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite games of 2016 were, and let me know what you think of my selections. Um, yeah, if you think I've missed anything out, let me know. Obviously, everyone's opinions are different. Let me know yours in the comments, and I'll, I'll be sure to read them and talk them over with you guys. And I think in a few days I'm probably going to do a games I'm looking forward to in 2017 type video because I've got like three or four, I think maybe five that like. I'm really, really hyped for in 20, uh, 2017. One of them especially. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this, like, say, like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. <laughs>